Hi, welcome to Thiru Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Spring Boot application workflow. Okay, in this main point, sir, work, these are the workflow steps. One is application startup, second one is bin creation and injection, third one is web application configuration, fourth one is embedded web server startup. Okay, we'll see one by one. First, which is sorry. Uh, we'll see first application startup. Okay, in application startup, we will start the application will start from the Spring application dot run method is there, right? Uh, from there, for our Spring Boot application execution will starts. Okay, see here. From here, Spring application dot run method is there in our Spring Boot application whenever we create spring boot application it will create one uh, class right uh, here i have created in earlier video i have created this application first demo right in our first application uh, the spring application dot run method is there right from here spring boot application execution starts from here from this line onwards okay see here same point this one Okay, up, second is application context creation. Spring Boot creates an application context using Spring Application Builder. Application context in the sense uh, in uh, Spring Boot IOC container, the word we have heard already, right? Uh, that, uh, uh, that container will create here. Application context is also called as IOC container in Spring Boot. Okay. Here, look at this. Whenever this line executes, this application context container will be created by the Spring Boot. Okay. This context manages the beans of our application. What is the purpose of this application context is? Manages the beans of our Spring Boot application okay third is environment setup it loads the properties from various sources for example in our spring boot applications web applications we have seen application that properties file environment variables command line arguments these are uh, it will loads from here uh, to create the environment uh, in our uh, previous videos we have seen that production ready features right uh, by using this it will uh, ready the environment by loading the application dot properties file in those files properties file by reading property files okay and auto configuration last one is auto configuration spring boot scans for classes with address spring boot application annotation and applies auto configuration based on dependencies on the class path this means that automatically configures common features like web servers databases security etc okay auto configuration in the sense whenever this class execution starts here is at the rate spring boot application annotation is there right this, uh, this this is going to start ex the, from here execution starts right it is doing auto configuration right for auto configuration we have seen here uh, at the spring boot application annotation is there this annotation is equals to observe here equals to these annotations individually in spring okay this is spring boot right that's why uh, we'll uh, we'll see here at the rate spring boot configuration configuration setup is done and at the rate enable auto configuration auto configuration features is enabled and at the rate component scan this means comp component scan means whenever sorry whenever here we have specified that base package name is com dot thiru academy right whatever the packages mentioned with that com dot thiru academy dot something we will write right uh, if those packages will be automatically read by spring boot container and creates beans for those classes okay 
that uh, auto configuration is done in application startup okay in this way auto configuration will be done in spring boot application okay next bean creation and injection our next point is bean creation and injection component scanning okay spring boot scans class uh, scans for classes with adherent component service adherent service adherent repository adherent controller and other stereotype annotations to identify beans here if you observe here i'll close this yeah in our first controller we have seen adherent rest controller right and i have written one more class that is first service this class is annotated with adherent service in bigger applications this is for example i am taking this small application in the, when we compare with real time this is very 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 small application right in uh, real time applications those are uh, very bigger applications in those we have we will see many annotations is annotated with many service classes is there controller classes is there repository classes is there right at the rate component uh, we will write for some classes to create beans those are automatically read by the spring container and for those beans will be created by the container okay that is the point is explained here bean creation see this also it creates instances of those beans and manages their life cycles within the application context container for those beans for those classes beans components both are same okay for those automatically beans will be created and man managed by the life manage their life cycles within the application context container by the spring boot okay next is dependency injection it injects dependencies uh, dependencies means other beans into beans that require them using annotations like adherent auto wired see here if you observe this is the service layer right first service this is injected into controller layer by using adherent auto wired annotation this is called in this way we can provide auto wiring from controller layer to service okay this is called auto wiring in our next video we will see about dependency injection in this we will check in detail okay yeah bean creation and injection is done our next is web application configuration this step we can skip for stand alone applications but but if it is web application we it uh, spring boot needs to execute this step also web application configuration right uh, dispatcher servlet is required uh, in web applications handler mappings are required view resolvers are required this is the importance of those classes uh, okay classes means dispatcher servlet handler mapping classes and view resolver classes okay what is the purpose of those we'll see now dispatcher servlet creation in spring boot application okay if web application dependencies are present i mean if it's a web application spring boot creates a dispatcher servlet to handle incoming http requests in web applications every request every request needs to traverse through dispatcher servlet okay in spring boot okay and dispatcher servlet will identify the request means to which controller it needs to pass the request or endpoint request is there right to identify to which controller needs to send request for that purpose we use handler mapping classes this handler mapping means it registers handler mapping to map incoming request to appropriate controller methods 
okay view resolver it configures a view resolver to render views for example uh, if you if you are using jsp or thyme leaf spring boot needs to identify to which view it needs to send output right a bin information that for that purpose view resolvers are useful it configures view resolver to render views for those controller methods that returns the view views okay that is the purpose of the handler mappings and view resolvers next is web application web application server startup embedded web server startup right uh, sorry web server startup embedded servlet container spring boot starts an embedded web server either tomcat or jtr under to any one is fine to serve the application or to start to run the application application ready this application is now ready to receive the request whenever we starts the application just starting the application server is ready to receive our requests okay we'll see one by one this is the quick overview after execution of that application we'll see here okay this is the first application in our earlier video we have created okay our uh, uh, spring boot application execution will starts from this line okay by executing this line it will create the application context container and it will read the sorry it will read the uh, executes the uh, it will prepares the auto configuration and spring boot configuration it scans the all packages and creates bins for our classes whatever we have provided okay in our uh, c in our rest con sorry first controller we have written only one method here that is welcome which receives the request by saying first endpoint uri is first we need to specify i'll run this application then we'll see spring boot run as spring boot application see application is running with a0 a0 port and we'll see local host colon a0 a0 slash first see welcome to thiru academy from here if you observe request lands here this is a web application only right request lands here from here through auto wiring it is calling that first service welcome method from here this message will returns to controller and controller is displaying that message not displaying sorry not displaying it returning that message to browser we have sorry browser we have called from browser right that's why okay this is the last slide quick overview when when you run this application the following happens internally right we'll see spring application dot runs method starts the application application context is created and we just now we discussed beans are scanned and created and dependencies are injected then third is dispatch servlet is created if it's a web application then server is enabled finally we receive the request Re first slash first request we received from browser then first controller welcome method is invoked from which calls the service to get the message and it returns it as the response okay i think you got this point right uh, thank you if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching